da 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 la 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 la. Guess what? Oh, shut up. <laughs> 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 yeah. Ah, yes. shut up. Guess what? Where do you find this music? <laughs> wow. It's like you've got a membership to the worst music academy club, or, you know, they send you a new album every week. <laughs> <laughs> Get oh, the you... flops from the 40s. <laughs> you mean um, the, um, what, Columbia Record think... Club? Yeah. I yeah. don't know, but. The Dud Record Club, because, wow. Okay, anyway, so. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're at Dork Table in the day, folks. Did you miss us? Huh? Yeah, huh? it's huh? been a while. Oh, hey, I just got a new stalker. Sweet, because lo- I'm looking on Twitter. Yay. Male or, male or female? I have no idea. I need to click on my followers <laughs> thingy. <laughs> you got a way to check? Holy shit. Well, what? no, it's okay. It should show in my notifications, I would think. Yeah, I don't, um, but that doesn't mm. tell anybody listening what we're here doing or why we're uh, here. Or... Yeah, we're Ooh. here at the dork table. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that... I'm so glad I don't have the, the camera on because I'm doing my... My, yeah, uh, you don't have to, no. Stevie right. Wonder impersonation <laughs> while I'm singing. Oh, whoa. Damn, the whole world just went wonky for a second there. Grab uh, that mic stand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we are at the dork table. Thank you, barman, for tweeting us out over here on Twitter. And over on that effing site, Freedoms Network, <laughs> which, <laughs> by the way, y'all, if... um. If you feel so inclined, they are still trying to collect funds for the server fees. Please make a donation over at freedomsnetwork.com. Help them keep the lights on. We would truly appreciate it. Riley, we would. (laughs) Vinny liked it. All, All of you rich people out there, dig deep and give generously. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. See... I really like that music too, Vinny and Flash. It just it made his eyes bleed, and so it was like, oh uh, yeah, I can jam to this now. <laughs> you know, oh, it's yeah. kind of like when yeah. you have an like your dad, and you play some song that you really groove on, and then your dad goes, turn that garbage off, and so you turn it up. <laughs> That's kind of the I'm way a I roll. Old to do that now, but I'll keep it in mind. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, I lost them both. Are you kidding? I'm outliving oh, yeah. everybody. Hang on to your damn checkbook here, lady. I'm going to outlive you, too. You know, my mother keeps telling me that, too. She's planning on living to be um, 126. Where she came up with that number, I have no <laughs> idea. But she uh, said 126, maybe 154. She'll see how that first 126 goes. <laughs> Creative but, writing. <laughs> yeah, my mother yeah. is is <laughs> such a fruit. But hmm, yeah, she's she realized that maybe just maybe, um, it might be you know by the time she gets to 126, she might have issues with like pulling her socks on and stuff. So oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that was one of those little things that the last time I was down there, she said, you know, I got to thinking. <laughs> it's like oh wow. god, here we I'm go, man. And- no, I would never even, we don't even think about socks. Thank you. Anyway. Anyway. R-L-M. So. Yeah, well, first I got to say, hey, over on Minds, too, because, yeah, hey, Real Mind. Liberty Media shared us over on Minds as well. And, yes. uh, yeah, we're also, you know, on Spreaker. <laughs> and Spreaker. later we're going to be on Jute, I mean, YouTube and BitChute. So God Ooh. knows we're also, we're going to infect the world <laughs> or yeah, la 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 okay. la 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 <laughs> wow <laughs> okay i love messing you, with your wee widow you mind a, yeah, did you bring a doctor's note for this show <laughs> no <laughs> okay <laughs> so you're gypsy like the style polka that, 
What? Okay, you're, I'm... you're like an airline pilot that just took three heads of acid. <laughs> We're going somewhere. Let's go check out this cloud formation. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to send the co-pilot and the navigator out for coffee. Let's go have some fun. Yeah. Psh. Anyway, uh, so Jay Dredd said Gyp gypsy style polka, those lousy parasites are now committing cultural appropriation from the Germanic people. Oh, sweetheart, I'll bet you the Germanic people probably stole polka from the gypsies, just saying. But, but talk <clears throat> about stuck on stupid. Gypsy <clears throat> style polka, who gives a fuck anyway? Well, I'm thinking <laughs> gypsy style polka. You go do a polka and you got lots of no, bangles and you no, got the. Yeah, no, and you no. could. Yeah. I have spoken. I have said no. <laughs> you do. I'm doing a fucking polka. I don't <laughs> care. I like the polka. I, good. <laughs> Go polka dot for all I give a shit. <laughs> Me? I ain't doing it. I ain't polka I'm the guy and a dot. Says no. Yeah, but I say no. I oh. say no to shit I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you're just kind of a Jewy bastard. <laughs> just, just to be different. Don't be mundane. Say no. <laughs> say no. Okay. okay. I say no to thugs. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Unless you'd want to live the thug life. What the hell is a thug life anyway? Oh, but, well. <laughs> but mine, mine's, mine's is not uh, the same kind of format where people keep like a schedule. <laughs> it's yeah. a very, uh, very informal site. It's It's interesting. It's yes, interesting. Yes, a lot of good shit on it. I'll give it that. I like the lack of communicating with each other. That's what I go to RLM for when I want to yak with somebody or give hands a hard time. But mines, you can go on there and learn shit that you didn't even fucking know yesterday. It's incredible. Ah, okay. Yeah. Speaking of mines, RLM! Yeah, there's lots of them there, and they don't mind, and it don't matter. <laughs> That's... Well, that's Grim and Rob. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pretty much. What about, okay. What about the rest of these wackadoodles? Well, let's see. Moosey just jumped in. But first, Barman, hey, the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world who shares us everywhere and just pretty much inundates the world with our dorkiness. Because he's Barman. That's what he does. Also, <laughs> we got Grimner, the RLM god, and the lovely Joe. Moose Girl. And they were on last night on the Freaker's Ball. And I actually listened to a little bit of it while I had oh. a soak in the tub. Because, oh. yeah, my muscles were aching after all that mowing. Push yeah, mowing. I listened, I listened to some of you, but I didn't get up early enough for some of them. Ah. Looky there. The lovely Kate is here from Florida. Miss Kate. From Florida. Yeah, and Asmo, and Beth Z, and Chelsea Denis, and the lovely Chloe. Chloe. And, no, Chloe Singular. Yeah, yeah, just one. And Dakota, who's been dealing with some rather um, obnoxious weather from the way the chat was going last night. Uh, yeah, tornadoes yeah, and what? floods and... Yeah. Noah, uh, don't bother building an ark because a tornado's is going to wipe it out. I'm here. Oh, Wait. shit. I forgot to change my name. Did you really again? Again. It says Z. I know, but it needs to be. It needs to be Gramsy Dork and Dozy oh, Dork and are. Little Lambs see. Eat Ivy. Okay. I also see Ivy Don C and Ivy Don C White. Ivy Don C double. Yeah, Ooh, I know. Double dosing. Java doctors. Yeah. Java Doctor and Java Doctor 2. We got... What a taco. I know. It's Come like on. we got a new and improved version along with the original. Whoa. Then want a taco and rain, rain. Oh, rain. And RLM Fluke, the Vanna White the of the fluke. RLM channel. The Fluke is here. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to go get Henry. Oh. Hold on. No, no, no. Hi, Rob Works. Thank you for that bubbler. Truly appreciate it. The and bubbler. Yes, the uh, bubbler. Yes. Tiny <laughs> bubbles. I trust no one. The trusty feller. And Colfax <laughs> 101. One. Yeah. Make it so, number one. Sticky shit. Who's got sticky shit? You're not supposed to be playing with your shit. That's that's what wow. monkeys do. <laughs> wow. Hey, raise the bar when you come here, you know. That's right. Any, any. 
Continue with your hellos. Dimma. Dimma. And Flash Nasty. Yeah. And hey, uh, a double dose of Rumpy. Holy hey, smokes. Two for one. We're doing We're the double a... mint, double mint, double mint chatter gum God, thing. Canadians by the dozen. I oh know. Canuckistan is invading. Guest 91. And J Dread, hey Hansel. Hey Hansel, yo son of a bitch. <laughs> I also see Kozu and Moy, which you won't say. But there is many a pox upon us oh, because we got pox, is... pox, and poxified, and poxophone, and pox of uh, home. Uh, 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 so a pox wow. on everything. Ooh, oh, that sounds kind of sick and wrong. I think, I think we got poxified. Box of fried? Oh my! Hey, look, socks here. Hey, socks. Yeah, and pompo pond sauce and Skittle. Skittle, Skittle likes to have sexual adventures with all kinds of inanimate objects because I'm always seeing him or her post in the chat. Fuck the desk. Uh -huh. Fuck the chair. Fuck Trump. Uh -huh. Apparently, this guy's really, really amorous. Ah. Uh, yeah, and that's the way I'm looking at it. Or, or horny, or he's feeling rather randy. Uh, I, say, I wonder speak if speak English, foreigner. <laughs> okay, he's feeling randy, and I wonder <laughs> if <laughs> randy doesn't mind. Hi, Vinny. It's, it's and Phantom. It's the Phantom. Oh, it's no, the, the Phantom. Phantom. Guess what? I made it all the way through. Da -da. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to tell you a secret. It didn't even start till 10 after. <laughs> I know. It was like... <laughs> no, we were just having one of those weird hellos. <laughs> yes, we were. Well, to get started today. Okay, I since don't, since don't when know? do we have a normal hello? I don't know what normal is. I know what normal is for me, but I don't know what normal is for other people. And I... by the look of shit... By what I see, I don't want to know either. <laughs> All I know is normal They're is a cat. Scary. <laughs> yeah, but people are scary. Yes, They're frightening. They are. Mm -hmm. You know what they believe? You know what? You know what people believe? What? What do they believe? They believe crazy shit, Miss Mary. Crazy shit beyond your wildest of imaginations. I'm not talking unicorns. I'm talking these people believe in space. <gasps> Well, Not you know, only space, but outer space. <laughs> I believe in outer space, but to me, outer space is anything outside of my inner space. Well, you know, I was telling you, I was listening to Clint Richardson over at UCY uh -huh. again. Well, I go, I go into these like sporadic things where I'll, I'll listen to somebody and then I won't listen to them for six months. And then their name will come up or I'll see their link. And then I'll go, hey, I want to hear what he's got to say now. And this guy's pretty influential in the way that I think. And as far as explaining it, you know, that's, I don't even know how to explain what I'm trying to say right now. I've never heard another person explain the outlook on the political system and the religious system the way he did. And when I heard it, that pretty much gave me a, a, a way to explain it myself. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't agree with every fucking word the man said. That's not, you know, that's not normal. But the key points behind all the big stuff, uh, it was like a foundation. It gave me some something else to, you know, instead of just my own thoughts I'm going on with all the time, I got to hear somebody else talking about it. Now I see it like this and I see it like that and went, wow, so do I. Hey, there's two crazy fuckers on, you know, on the radio at the same time now. Hey, he he did apologize to his regular um, crowd that listened to him because he he had added to his outlook and it took him on something that looks it looks like a, a social shift to a social person. They would think if you were talking like that, your behavior is going to change. And all I heard the guy do is just explain how his behavior works. Ah. Uh -huh. You know, he doesn't talk about how he's better than everybody and everybody needs to do as he does. He just talks about what he does and how he sees it. And I thought, wow, there you go. And it's very rare on the Internet. Yes. Because people like to lead, Miss Mary. They want to get to the top of the hill and plant a flag. <laughs> well, there you go. 
Why go up the hill to do it when the bedroom is so much closer? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, Never mind. It's the same thing. It's that phallic fucking we dominate, take your fucking shit and call you a you know dog. It's nonsense. All these all these violent uh, wars and shit like that. It's all manufactured, made up, made up crap to get people to do horrible things for the wrong reasons. Mm. Yeah. Because if you told somebody the truth about what they're going to do, if if you could go go and tell somebody your next 24 hours is going to be this, 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 and this, and this, and then they go and do it, and it turned out to be everything you said it was, where are they at the end of that? They have to deny that it ever happened the way you predicted it would and live in a lie. Well, don't many people live in a lie anyway? <clears throat> I, well, see, there. I think we all do because of the society we're in. It breeds it. It breeds all this mistrust and superiority and competition and get gain and I need to earn and all that horse shit. Mm. Well, mm, yeah, I need to earn my keep. Yeah. 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 Or steal. Or or beg, however you fucking do it. It's all the same shit to me. I don't see a difference. If you're acquiring something, you put out energy, you got something in return for your energy. What you title it or how you do it, it does. that's just a matter of taste. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's and... some things I wouldn't do for money, period. Ain't going to do it. And then there's some things I wouldn't do for money, but I do them for free. Yeah. You know, but most people have been conditioned and beaten down by the, the game is, oh, I got to get out there and hustle and I, I might lose something. <laughs> yeah. I, I hate to tell everybody but this, but nobody's going to miss you. Nobody's going to give a shit. Ten minutes after you're gone, it's over. It's over. That's that. Nice knowing you next case. Yeah. And we're all trying to live to be remembered in the future. Wow. What a... Uh, <sighs> well, you know, knowing my luck, people mm. will remember me by... God, did you see all this shit she had? <laughs> Jeez. Man. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> or, yeah, but the people that know you. I'm not talking so much about the radio, but that's the allure. You know, people want to be remembered in history and in the future days and all that horse shit. And the truth of it is it doesn't really happen that way. No, it doesn't. No, I mean, in my life, I spend very little time thinking about the dead. You know, I don't completely ignore it, but it's not it's not a majority of the time. So if those people that all died wanted me to remember them, they didn't, it didn't work. <laughs> Send them a message. So it did not fucking work. Try something different. Yeah. Well, and you know, I don't really, I think that's one of those, cause I've, I've had people ask me, so like, when, when, when did your grandpa die? When did your dad die? When you when did your, and I'm like, I don't know. Cause I, yeah. And, you yeah. know, they think I'm heartless because right. I don't think of the date. You know, I don't remember that. I mean, I remember my Auntie Wanda's kind of sort of because we're coming up on that first year and Mom's been <laughs> talking about it. <laughs> yeah, because it's in your face. That was what I mean. If, if, if it was a top thought on your head all the time, there'd be something wrong with you. Yeah, but see, I just, I, I remember the shit that they did throughout their life that I was right, there right. to witness. That's. But it, it's fleeting, and it's not all the celebrity idiots that it's supposed to be in presidents. It's people that you fucking knew. Yeah. <laughs> people that you spent your time with doing shit. Yeah. Well, society's all fucked up. They got all this illusion going on, and the believers are, wow, they're stacked up 12 th thick at the door. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's no and, stopping this. And speaking this of is, believers, I was uh, kind of before we started on on the dork table, and I clicked over on Twitter, and there it was again, um, or still. Um, <laughs> apparently, this Bishop Sir Edric Salazar the Fourth, the nonplussed, 
whatever, whatever. Um, he and Angelo John Gage are having a Twitter conversation, shall I say. Uh, and uh. Um, so uh, this Angelo says, if you believe God had a master plan that all events are are directly his fault, of course, this negates free will. You can't have both. Being a creator doesn't exempt you from logical judgment, which, okay, I get that, you know. And he's, mm. there were several other things that he has said that it's like, I kind of agree with that because, you know, calling out the Bible as written by men and he didn't want to worship some God that was, that was so insecure that people had to worship him and by God to prove how much they worshiped him they had to kill their own children kind of shit you know so I, I kind of get where he's coming from but then this bishop responds to him and says let's look at one of the countless 10 year olds that have died are they victims of God or benefactors of his grace and I'm thinking who the hell <laughs> who the hell <laughs> equates the death of a 10-year-old as a benefactor of God's grace. What mm. the? Well, whew, this dude's smoking some serious shit, and he needs yeah, to but, share it for the rest of the class. But then again, <laughs> I don't know that I want any of the shit he's smoking if it's going to make me oh, think like that. Yeah, but wait a minute. But you're a reader of books, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what advantage some of these people take is they put a, a they put out information about what you're going to read before you read it to guide you to a certain end yes you're not reading this in freedom you're reading it in the confines of freedom you're allowed to believe between here and here and anything outside those boundaries is wrong yeah and, according to well, someone well okay well that's how life is but it's it's a man-made equation that that's done to control us. Oh yeah. If people were left the fuck alone, we would get along so much better. It wouldn't be a it'd be a different world. Yes, it would. But all the intrusion and the rules and the you have to obey constantly in a free country. This fucking story with this free country shit. But don't forget, you got to obey every fucking rule there is, and there's millions of them. Yeah. So at any given moment in the day now, you're legally, you're breaking the law. You're doing something that's illegal somewhere. And so you have these enforcers that come around to make money by arresting you for breaking the fucking rules. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then they harp on how, how it's all about crime and shit like that. But, well, then if that's the case, why are the police making so money off asset forfeiture and you know, why are they killing people <laughs> at traffic stops, arresting old women? Well, I shouldn't say old, but, you know, my age and older. Yeah. yeah. I'm coming up on 59 here after the summer's over, Miss Mary. Ooh, yeah. I don't, I don't feel, I don't even know what that means, though. But anyway, but there was a, in Germany, I think, a, a Holocaust denier. You know? Oh, there, yeah. There's a, there's another. I've said this five thousand times. You you can uh, you can explain World War Two by it was about slave labor to make the very wealthy wealthier, and the the Nazis were just the enforcers. Yeah. All that World War bullshit was just a bunch of cover to ignore the fact that human beings were being used by the million. For labor, free labor. Mm -hmm. So all this, oh, they died from gas camps. No, that's no, that's not what they died from. They died from is exhaustion, probably, but and malnutrition. End, yeah. Well, when when the supply lines got all fucked up, I'm sure yeah. things went south. But as they were living, I don't think that they were being murdered. I think they were being used to their their abilities and their ultimate death whatever that was and people aren't all the same some people survive longer than others yep hey moosey just said she doesn't feel her age you know what moose girl yeah i don't even know what that means quite a while yeah. ago i had someone ask me why don't you just act act your age and i, <laughs> I looked at him and said i've never been this age before so i don't know how you're supposed to act so i'm just winging it 
So <laughs> where were you? Were you like at a police station when this happened? No, I think it was probably at a family reunion or something. And one of my brothers just threw that out there. And when oh, I when that. I when okay. I spit back that. at him, you know, yeah, that my little yeah. response, they went, "Hey, yeah. wait a minute, that actually Why makes sense." You, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what, what does that what does grow up mean anyway. I mean, are you in a hurry to die? Grow up. Give me a break. Well. Where the fuck are you going in that bigger hurry? You're going to, well, never mind. Yeah, well, see, and when we were kids, it was always act your age, not your shoe size, which that didn't work until, you know, you got (laughs) past like seven. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I don't know. I got more adult insults than that as a child, so. mm. Well, that was just one of the fun ones that we, because that was one of those that mom wouldn't come and lower the mom (laughs) kaboom on us. Well, over, so. but the, the, you know, the opinions that are available from people like us on the internet now is incredible. Yeah. You no, know, and I don't agree with every fucking thing you think, but I agree with a lot of it. You know, I can say that, or Vincent, or Moose, or or Grimmy, or today? well, Dread. Dread's just I don't know. Dread, he's Dread. Yeah. Who could pay attention? But he, I'm seeing who's in the room here to, right now, chatting in the R L and M, and uh, oh, it's giving them a little attention. Uh, Java Doctor's in there. Yeah. And do yeah, it? Well, it's a Saturday in in the summertime, so we're gonna probably have a few less folks hanging around. They might catch the replay if we say something intelligent or not. <laughs> might be another thing. Well, you know, speaking of this, because everybody's talking about age in the chat, and you know what? I think yeah. aside from I B Don C, I think I may be, maybe Frumpy. I don't know. Frumpy's close to my age, but I think I am the elder or one of the elders. Oh, and I think Beth is right around my oh, age yeah. as well. Yeah, Beth, he's been around a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So. Because um, I know I'm older than Grimmy, because <laughs> I rubbed that in, and I'm older than you by about a month. Yeah, I'm the middle one. It's Grim's younger than me, and you're older than me. Yeah. So Ooh, we're like an RLM the, sandwich. Yeah, I was just thinking that it's a cookie sandwich. <laughs> uh oh. A Grammy Grimmy cookie sandwich. Uh, <laughs> Okay, wow. You're the flashy and, middle. Sorry, honey. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> You're just the flashy uh, middle. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now Grimmy's singing in the summertime. Da da dee 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 dee. <laughs> wow. Dorks and nerds uh, are being awakened by the dozen today huh i know well you know let your inner dork fly yeah but you know there's no explaining why a person likes something so hmm. yeah there you go yeah because i like uh, a lot of stuff that other people will either look at or listen to and think what planet does your brain function at (laughs) (laughs) and i I understand because you know their interests are from different sides so oh kate is up there too okay that's okay uh, kate yeah, we have kate, fun well, there you go oh it wasn't in it was just who was, sometimes nobody's got much to say you know in the chat yeah and sometimes they got a lot to say <laughs> never know yes moosey a lot a lot of us are over 50 and we're all acting our age and nobody can tell us any different <laughs> oh yeah, they they can tell us. All. See that? That's well, yeah. What I th- we don't have to listen. All right. Well, there you go. But we do. But there's the core of of uh, internet life, right? Is this assuming the sale? Yeah. You know, because just because you believe it doesn't mean anybody else in the fucking room believes it. True. True. Or just because everybody else does and you don't. Well, that might be a different story. <laughs> how how do we approach that particular topic? Hmm. The holdout, you know, the the one guy that's going to say, "Nah, I'm going to wait till it's legal." Why are you waiting for anything? Mm-hmm. I mean, t- time is valuable. You you don't know how much time you've got. 
And if you're lucky in life, you don't know what is gonna, what's going to happen tomorrow. And or maybe it lucky like now, lucky for me is having a better grip on what's going to happen tomorrow. See, and I just want to have a grip on what's going to happen in the next five minutes. <laughs> I don't look at tomorrow because, yeah. Did you know that f tomorrow never comes? Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it's always today. And Grimner, I I like listening to Grimner. Oh, yeah. Grimner's, yeah, and that gravelly voice thing, too. But uh, he's got a good presentation. I, I like his stories and his shit about money. He know If I needed to no information about the details of money i'd go to grim yeah you know it's just lucky to have a mind like that and you know he's fast like with the statistics you know yeah. when we play play trivia sometimes oh, he's usually ahead of me that's one of those things where you can say he's got a trivial mind and it's not an insult yeah, yeah, but... Because it's like, have... dude, seriously, do you have like a freaking Encyclopedia Britannica wandering around inside there? Well, I, w I was telling uh, a friend of mine once that if, say you have a physical um, weakness, mm -hmm. you'll make up for that weakness in another physical way that will be stronger. Like me and my eyes, I have terrible eyesight, but I hear really good. There you go. And not only that, but um, I'm very sensitive to um, physical people, you know, like the Internet. Eh, that's just words on a screen. I don't really get anything from that so much. But human voice and seeing people in the same, you know, area, that tells me a lot about shit. Yeah. yeah. And I think other people are just all into their own shit looking like I don't even think they're paying any attention. Some of them just wandering around, having a giggle. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And some of them are so deep, they're, I don't know, they're beyond understanding by looking at them, but you can see that. And that's how I, I interpret it. I can look at a person and get a feeling about how they are emotionally. You know, hey, is that a sick motherfucker that would rape my cat? Nah. Hey, let's go smoke a spliff and get a cup of coffee at my house. Yeah. <laughs> but that very same person might appear to be a complete insane lunatic, but it's just the, you know, the ink and, and the haircut. It's not the person. Not all the time. I mean, sometimes it's, it's not any scary, crazy shit. It's just the ink and haircut. The person's pretty cool. Yeah. And occasionally you get a wackadoodle that doesn't give a shit about nobody, and they're different. Yeah. And I think that uh, society bred them on purpose. It wasn't an experiment. It was a creation. But isn't every creation kind of an experiment? I'll give you an example. It's easier to lock somebody up that's uh, socially involved than somebody that's antisocial. Yeah. Yeah. They're more willing to go along with the crap that you need to do to get arrested in the first place because they follow. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's like that guy... Uh, that I read about last night, you know, that went and, and um, was going to, you know, register his weapons and wound up getting to go to jail for it. It's like, oh, how special is this? The gun thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I read about that. And you know me and guns. So I figure arm everybody and let natural selection do its job. Fuck it. But, uh, <clears throat> but then realistically... I think a gun is kind of a coward's weapon in the first place. Well, yeah. It, I mean, defending yourself isn't the point. It's like the guy that's got the gun is afraid of something. So, hmm. Yeah. And he nah. is so afraid of something that he wants to be able to take out anybody at a distance. That's like a, yeah. a something yeah. I read. And what, what, and what if you're wrong? You know, <laughs> Well, it's like something I read this morning that I, I stuck it in my pocket. There's a, a, a doctor over in um, in Palestine that, yeah. um, 
wait a minute let me go to my pocket yeah well yeah it was in Palestine and um, she was shot in the back by wow. an Israeli sniper and 21 yeah. year old doctor and all she was doing was running away from to go and help someone that had gotten hurt and she got shot in the back and killed and yeah, it's like see, wow the, talk the, about chicken shit asshole that that is what the voting public supports yeah that is what the politicians are sworn to do is protect that godforsaken shithole israel it's all a mess it's a fucking joke all of it it's all crap all this history and all these countries and all this crap about people hurting each other all the time when my life isn't like that unless I want it to be. Yeah. Now, I can go get into plenty of fucking trouble anytime I want. There's combative assholes every fucking where. What I learned to do in my uh, growing up thing, you know, maturing or whatever, is stop engaging in shit. And that wasn't even all that old. I was like in my late 20s. Went, wait a minute, you know, if you just avoid all this shit, these people wouldn't be doing this shit to you. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes whether you realize it or not, you're putting yourself out there for that crap. Right, but the television and the movies brainwashed everybody into believing that violence lurks in the heart of every human being and we're all evil and we all want to fuck each other with, you know. Whatever. Implemented hand. Mass destruction. Yeah. You know, no, I'm just saying. I've seen. Okay, the that other show I like on uh, that I got off of Minds, the Rebels at the Round Table group. Mm -hmm. The guys are. He's a real. He's really negative about his uh, aggression towards the enemy, and I understand that side of it. But what he doesn't realize, to me, is that his the person he's blowing up is just as big a shit, a piece of shit, as the person he's condemning. They're all the same. There, there is no difference. If you condemn one and praise the other, you've just made an equal. There, there is no fucking difference there. You're just choosing a side. <laughs> all right. So yeah. if you don't choose a side, I'm one less person involved in that negative fucking shit about people being bombed and controlled and spied on and all this crap they're all supposed to be doing to each other. I'm way the fuck out of it. Yeah. Yeah. And just life took me where I'm at and I went, wow, cool. But I didn't plan on any of this. Exactly. Probably the opposite I planned on was going back to North Carolina after my vacation and and continuing what I was doing. Yeah. But that was almost seven years ago. <laughs> Longest vacation I've ever been on. <laughs> Ooh. What? That's the longest vacation you've ever been on? Yes, yeah, six and a half years and counting. Cool. How's long? How why? How long have you done it for? Um, actually, uh, huh. just a few months. <laughs> yeah, but the, I think the life lessons of the last couple of years have been real, real helpful. You know? Yes. Because well, I was my mom was ill for years, so I was never surprised that she was going to pass, but. When she did, I wasn't prepared mentally for it, so it kind of threw me off. Yeah, you know, and but that's two parents down, so I don't got no more worrying about that. It's over with now. Yeah, true, true. Mm. Right. Well, but I still grab the phone every now and again and think, ah, I'm call. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> you know, because there's only two people I talk to on the telephone: my mom and my wife. So now it's just my wife. Well, and see, that's okay. Yeah, well, I think that is how wealthy people live, too. Yeah. You never talk to them. You talk to their assistant or their friend or somebody, but not them. I don't know that I would necessarily want to. 
Yeah, see, I, freedom is being free of those fucking incoming calls and shit like that. So they give us the internet. So we, we want to be active. We can jump on that and do shit. But the telephone was an intrusive fuck. You you can get away with not being on the internet. Yeah. You can't get away to this day. You can't get away with not answering your your telephone. Doesn't sure, I work. can. People. Well, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can. I look at the number and I just swipe for no and swipe for yes. And most of the time, especially if I don't recognize the number, yeah, I swipe for no. I didn't grow up like that. And the phone rang, you answered it. Who the hell is this? Well, okay. (laughs) Now, when I was a child. Fun. Talk. What are people afraid of? They're afraid of each other. Voices. Words. Well, see, and when I was a kid, I used to come out in the summers and spend time with my grandparents out on the farm, and they had a party line, and wow, <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, every time the phone rang, I would run to answer it, and I got scolded, I can't tell you how many times from my grandma, that's not our ring, well, I never mm-hmm. knew what their ring was, because I was always answering it whenever it rang, but then, you know, it's like five or six different farms basically we're on this one circuit and different rings for you know like two short rings two long rings a short and a long and you know, whatever but as i never really got to hear their ring because i was always just answering the phone and then oops my bad <laughs> well all i really meant was answering the phone is harder to explain not answering like if cert calls me on the phone and i don't answer that it yeah. seems, it's more personal than the internet. Oh, yeah. So, you know, that's what I mean. Is that phone call it t- between us now is, hey, I couldn't find you, so I need to talk to you. Answer this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that, okay, how many people are you that close to that you give them your fucking cell phone number, and when they do call, that you answer the fucking thing, and you, you talk to them? Yeah, you get it. Yeah, it, yeah. Now I get and, it. Now I get it. And, and here yeah. we are. And here we are. Forty in a in a chat room, and two guys arguing about you know who's who's right about Hitler. It, <laughs> it's just entertainment. They're both right, and they're both <laughs> wrong. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, it's that's the point. It's all whatever you believe it is. It is. It doesn't matter what it is. It matters what you believe it is. Yeah, and how you that's act it. upon that belief. Wow, but we're so inundated with all the outside shit making us physically and mentally act certain ways according to society and its dictates. The yeah. fucking Wi-Fi, the goddamn electric system, the 432 fucking um, HZ, every, everything that we did, the water's poison, the fucking air's poison, we're, and we're sitting ducks, right, on this big whatever it is, and... There's never enough resistance to stop any of this shit. These people do because they create fucking jobs. <laughs> yeah. And you must uh, so, earn your keep. You must earn a living. Even though you're already living, you got to earn it now. Now that it's already been given to you, you got to earn it. Really? Yeah. So That's so like it, giving you know, someone a, a really cool birthday present. And then six months later going, okay, now you got to earn that present or I'm going to take it away from you. <laughs> yeah, it, life, life isn't supposed to be this way. It was, it was made this way. And it go, it's gone along with, they call it mob rule, basically. And then they tell you that if, you're, if you want to be on your own away from it, that there's something wrong with you. They've come up with mental disorders to explain it. Yeah. 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 If if you argue against the government, it's a mental disorder now. And these people are full of shit up to their eyeballs about everything. Not one fucking thing did I ever learn from them turn out to be true. It was all bullshit. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. Yeah, and the odd, oddest thing is, uh, like, I, I usually read the minds in the morning when I get up, and there's been a lot of Iran and North Korea crap going on, right? Mm-hmm. Well, again, Trump did a little dance in Syria today, did a little bombing down there, I guess, and uh, the, the guy at the train station is Iranian, and I'm American, and we get along just fine. It's just uh, politics. 
you know, why can't people take the violence out of this and just realize it's got nothing to do with it? It's they want that as a byproduct of the problem so that they can bomb each other and make fucking fake money. Yeah. It's insane. It's crazy. And we all go along with it. I, I, I. Yeah. Makes, makes my tumor bleed. <laughs> to... Your tumor mm. bleeds a lot. It's just amazing yeah. that you haven't I'm bled out. I'm a Jewish lady. I can do these things at will. <laughs> ah. But, hey, you know, Goober came on yesterday morning, I think, or, yeah, yesterday. And he said he had, had an upset stomach, and inside of a minute, two people had already mentioned uh, apple cider vinegar. And it, he didn't have any of that. So, baking soda. He says, yeah, I got some of that. And it just, that's what the internet's for. Yeah. You yeah. know, to get help from folks or to give somebody else help. Mm -hmm. That's really what it's for, I think. Or we could use it for that if we choose to, and that choice just and it's just not as um attractive as the alternative of keeping this fucking monkey game going yeah yeah i read uh, i read a meme the other day i don't know if it's true i put it up everywhere it was hysterical the japanese are having a bus strike and what the bus drivers are doing is driving the routes but not charging the passengers <laughs> Do what now? The bus drivers in their strike are driving their bus routes, but not charging the passengers. Oh, well, see, there you go. So now that's the, how you hurt. That's yeah, how you the get their attention. Are running, but they're they're not bringing in any money, and they're spending all that gas every day. There you go. Now, whether this is true or not is not the point of why I'm talking about it. It's the idea behind it that. If that makes sense to you, why don't we do these things? Yeah, I know. That's just what I was thinking is, okay, now why? that's that's a way to start a trend to just, okay, here we go. We're just going to do this. And eventually, yeah. you know, it would be because oh, I know you and I both think monetary well, it's, system it's needs that, to go bye-bye. Okay, but it's a government plan thing. These fuckers did this with this... Uh, suburban house or not suburban but uh, urban housing and the homes you know the skyrocket or skyscrapers yeah welcome to the ant farm like sandwiches right well that was all planned obsolescence to get where they're at now to do what they're doing today mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well if you try to explain it to them they're so dumbed down by the system that they're stuck in that they don't believe you. Think, ah, oh, they wouldn't do nothing to me. Look, I got my phone. <laughs> I yeah. got Obama minutes. Don't, don't you talk shit, you know? Or I got my truck. Or I'm an accountant. Whatever fucking game they're playing, it's backed up by the system that is killing them. Yeah. Well, where's the opposition? Oh, they get a couple of people that have... Uh, enough balls to protest but don't realize that protesting doesn't fucking do anything gets you killed yeah read the fine print these people own you me you us all of it they can do whatever they fucking want anytime they want and they do yeah no yeah. resistance the resistance is dying off we're just getting older and the young ones what are they doing they're on cell phones connecting to something. I hope it's to each other and they're finding a way out. Yeah. Because the, the grown-ups will get them fucking killed or hurt. That's what grown-ups do to kids. That's his life. There ain't no way around it. Yeah. Well, because because of the life that we live, these are the results. It's not like an intention. I don't think... I don't really think that Trump wakes up in the morning and says, I wonder who I'm going to fuck over today. But I don't think he wakes up in the morning and says the opposite of it either. Who can I help? I don't think he gives a flying fuck about me, you, or anybody. Uh, it's just a performance. Yeah. The guy's a, he's a 
TV show host. I mean, wow. Well, he's the, a reality TV star. That's pretty no, much it. Everybody, that. everybody thinks they put a reality TV star in the Oval Office, and what they don't realize is every damn one of them that's in the Oval Office is a freaking reality TV star. He's just more honest about it. He was oh, out he, in the uh, open with it prior to taking that position in the Oval Office. So now it's it's a apparently it's a step up. I don't know that I would consider it a step up, but other people do. I I just. I don't understand how if you can look back and see the history that was lied about, proven to have been lied about at the time, to do the things that they did, how could you believe what you hear today? I, I don't care. If, if Trump was a, a changed man the day he walked in the White House, the things he did before that earned him what I believe. Yeah. You know, he wasn't uh, a swell guy out in public eye when I was living in New Jersey or New York. <laughs> he he was uh, wow. What would you call him? He was like Romney. He was uh, he he was an attacker. What do you call those guys? The yeah, the speculators. What do you call them? There's a name for them. Predator. Yeah. Yeah. Oh They're yeah. Evil. Yeah. Well, okay. To me. That is an evil mind. Somebody that wants to make money off your work. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's all these people do. And and the people that support it, support it because that's what they do. It's a, it's a cycle. You can't, it's a wheel. You can't get off it once you're on it. And if you're lucky enough not to ever get on it, at least, you know, it's there to stay off. Yeah. Yeah. But for fuck's sake, I don't see the appeal to any of this. I mean, they're they're bombing Syria again. America, the American-led coalition, United Nations. This shit is fucking horrid, and it's got American support, or it wouldn't happen. Yeah. So that people can have fucking jobs, Mary, because they need to live. Wait a minute. What do you do for a living? Kill people? Oh. Yeah. Wow, isn't that something special to brag about? Well, no. when they say president or cop or whatever authority figure you might show me, I just see some killer, somebody that's willing to kill you to stay alive and get paid for it as a as a means of financial support. And I think that's fucking screwed. Yeah. I think I can take care of my own self out there in the world. I don't need no damn police to protect me from the bad fellas. I protect myself from the bad fellas. Always have. So yeah. all the police have ever been is just in the way. <laughs> well, in the way or, or, or 10 minutes late. <laughs> and they aren't there to prevent crime or stop crime. No, They're just there no. to enforce some rules and go and put white tape around whatever... Is no, left laying in the street. No, they've moved up. They have the right to kill you now, dear. Well, yeah, they have that it's too. It's gone out of hand. This is like the fucking medical profession. They're murdering with a license to kill. And you can't do fuck all about it. And if you think going to court and getting $20 million in five years is doing something about it, you're just as stupid as the fucker that they shot. Yeah. Because you can't, you know, you can't replace life with money. But we have been, t- boy, that's been pounded into me all my life. Oh, yeah. fuck. Oh, Good cripes. God. And what was that the other day? They had, there was a something come out. Some, um, a guy apparently <laughs> had loud music going in his garage. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, he ends up getting shot. Shot and killed by the cops. And yeah. they decided that the family deserved $4. But after, you know, looking it over and, and looking at, he was 99% responsible for his own death, even though it was through a closed garage door, and he did not have a weapon in his hand ever. And But still, he was 99% responsible so that the family got four cents in the judgment. And it's like, are you fucking kidding me? But then I stopped and realized, wait a minute here, at least they're out in the open and saying, that's what we think you're worth, four cents. Yeah, Oh, and I agree with you. They're a grimner on the, the physical body thing. But, uh, you know, and today I went to the grocery to get, get something, milk and whatnot. Anyway, uh, 
what I noticed about my my day was there was a, a guy walking with his about seven, eight, nine year old daughter and she was still in that age where, you know, they're holding hands and she's playing along, you know, running ahead of him a little bit. And you know how you're, well, you had daughters, you know how your daughters are. Yeah. So I get to watch other people do the same things I get, I had to, do, you know, got to do or did in my life. And, and I'm now I'm old enough to where I can, I can appreciate it. When I did it, it was doing it. And now I'm watching other people doing it, and I can go, wow, that's what I was doing. How cool. Yeah. Yeah, well, it means a lot to the kid. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know? And, well, that I got that back moving to this little tiny town. Is seeing other, you know, grown-ups with their kids and just being normal. Yeah. Well, yeah, as I'm normal as you. normal can be. <laughs> I, I, I'm using I, I'm using violence as a gauge. I've yet to see a, people go all stupid on each other out in public. I'm, you know, I've heard them raise their voice here and there a couple times, maybe two, three years ago, but not since. And it, when you go into a grocery store, the kids behave. Yeah. I've not here. I've not seen a kid like in Walmart lay down on the floor, start screaming. Pounding their hands on the damn floor like they're gonna, you know, yeah, yeah. And do that see, to I've seen, <laughs> I've seen videos like that, and it's like, oh my lord, my children would have never, ever. And I got to tell you, I had my grandkids for about a week, you know, off and on between sharing with grandpa and stuff, and they had their little electronic devices. Like two of them had cell phone, one's got a Kindle, and. A lot of these, you know, videos that I see of these tyrannical little children that parents created them, uh, in any case, uh, you know, they're having hissy fits because they can't play with their Game Boy, or they can't play with this, or they can't play with that. And and my grandkids, man, when I told them, uh-uh, put those phones away. We ain't doing phones. Put that Kindle down. No, we ain't playing that shit. We're going outside we're going to do this and you know sometimes I would get the eye roll and when I did get the eye roll and that was from my granddaughter because she's the older and she's into that whole eye roll thing and I would just look at her and say don't be rolling your eyes at me girlfriend we can we cannot be having some pleasant times here if you do that shit and we would go well, outside I mean, yeah, or we would and marry well yeah but I wanted them off of their freaking electronic things you know, they, I want, I want, I want. I know, I know, and by golly, I got pretty much what I wanted, pretty much. Yeah, well, okay. But well, you know, of, the kids the had fun. Us. You know, we went yeah, outside, we cleaned out the what it it was, and I every once in a while catch myself still calling it the man cave. That's what it was when my former boss lived here, and yeah, you're now the, it's you're now the it's girl. the fun house or Why the playhouse. Why are you house. so bossy though? Why can't you just be all laid back and be a girl about it all? Well, because I don't want my I want my children or my grandchildren to do other things besides sit like a lump on the couch playing frickin' electronic devices. There's oh. a there's a world out there and I got a huge yeah. ass yard and we went outside yeah. and we played. Yeah, I just never went with the force thing cuz I didn't like being forced. I I got a, I appreciated being outsmarted. Not forced. Force just pissed me the fuck off. Made me do whatever. You didn't want me to do it. I wouldn't do it that day, but I'd do it twice the next day just to piss you off. I'm sure you would. So, yeah. So, I lean towards the intellectual instead of the force. The force just pisses me off. <laughs> well. You know? But show me that you're smarter than me. Entice me. You know? In- entertain me. Do do something that's unique. But oh, bully, yeah. bully, I'm just, I'm not criticizing you. I'm just talking about my history, how I saw it. And, and it was just my interpretation of it is, oh, you think you're all tough and shit because you can slap me around. And well, that's going to end someday. So I'm going to tolerate it until I figure a way around you. And I did. And I survived all the little, you know, bumps and bruises in the middle. But the guy, um, if he, if he would have tried talking instead of, forcing he would have got a better result well 
Well, and see, I don't really see it as force. I would just tell the grandkids, okay, no more. Uh-uh. Let's go outside. And I didn't have to go and take things away from them because that's what you have to do with, like, two-year-olds and three-year-olds. And sometimes you have to go and take it away. But I didn't have to oh, do well, that with I'm them. It, there wasn't, there wasn't, like, a force thing i know you saw it as a force thing it was just me telling them yeah, uh -uh, yeah. we got it's other terrible, options yeah. that we're going to explore today right but i'm terrible like that i always see the worst and when somebody raises their voice just a little bit i get that that's it i've had enough of you shut the fuck up yeah because well, of the upbringing it makes your behavior a certain way your oh yeah tolerance levels uh, they're not ma imaginary. Whatever stress or aggravation you feel about things, that's real. And how to control that? I'm, I've never been able to do that. So I just go with the shut it off or go with it thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vinny's well, being funny. <laughs> Vinny, oh yeah. Vinny's such a goof. I know, but I don't know. See, Life is so, uh, what is the right, subjective. You see it your way, I see it my way. We're all fighting about who's right and who's wrong, and that's just a bunch of crap. It's stupid. It doesn't even matter. Even if you're right, it, what, what have you done? Nothing. So it's just like a, a, like a time killer, you know, like a video game. Something to do to not exactly waste the time but not do anything productive in it. Yeah. Well, that's it came from somewhere. I didn't start out that way. You know, I was a real creative child. I got in trouble. I think it was three and a half or four when I did my first piece of art. Oh. On the end, yeah, it was on my mom and dad's brand new headboard bed that uh, Ooh. that they just got. Yeah, she made the mistake of leaving me alone with a sharp uh, object and a crayon. <laughs> And I did her a nice picture on her brand new bed. <laughs> oh. Yep. Now, at that age, I was too small to discipline physically. There was no, you know, what do you beat a three and a half year old for being a kid? No. So that didn't happen. But it turned into that after a few more years. And I don't have any a clue what, what that had to do with me. I think it was something that happened to him. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, because people change. Oh yeah. But then there's other other factors. Like I I heard a story once that in 1967, he made a a, a stupid turn and bumped his head at work in a, something that wasn't supposed to be where it was. Mm, yeah. It, Self cracked his crack, no blood or anything, but he shocked himself up pretty good. And if, if that's true, it coincides with the time where he went all wild and started being mean. Because I remember two two of them. There was the nice one, and then there was this monster that was just all of a sudden there. Yeah, and it's amazing how a whack on the head will do that to some people. Well, yeah, and then of course you can't trust medicine. Those no. people get hold of you and, boy, yeah, you got a, a, what do you call it, an ingrown toenail and they probably tell you you got third, uh, what, third degree cancer, stage four cancer. <laughs> I got a story for you. You want to hear this? Sure. About, uh, well, you know that stage real... four cancer that reminded me of, um, mm. yeah, you're a pre-diabetic or whatever the hell yeah, yeah, and it's like, yeah. really? Yeah. Seriously? Uh, well, that's a sales pitch. It's, yeah, you know, you dazzle them with you know, brilliance, and then you baffle them with bullshit, and they sign checks. Yeah, don't get it. it I think it's in our um, something to do with the way we're we're trained in this program thing, this school and society thing. It, it's got a real nasty way about it, and behind all the all the pretty shit, there's some really ugly shit. Yeah. All the guys in the Senate, guys and gals in the United States Senate. I'll pick on the U.S. because I'm from there. And uh, they is all doctors and lawyers. 
Oh. Yeah. Did you know that every one of them that goes in there comes out of there wealthy as fuck? Hmm. Some of them don't leave. They move in and they stay for 30 fucking years. Yeah. And in the societies that we live in collapse and mm-hmm. decay and the fucking people act like complete morons on a daily basis and this is all okay. And the the government stage fucking attacks that aren't even real to keep people afraid of a fucking enemy that doesn't exist. Yeah. Because the enemy is the motherfucking bank. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and I say this and it doesn't have me but it's got everybody I've ever been associated with on a personal level. It's got them. But I've always managed to stay outside of it. <laughs> Don't get it. Oh, I think it's the willingness. To, uh, I get. I call it like you ever see that uh, movie? What was it called? Uh, Kung Fu. Yes. David Carradine. Right? Yes. Well, I'm not quite that devoted to anything, but I'm willing to just walk and take off and go in, in what I'm wearing and see where life takes me. <laughs> oh, I mean, I have been in the past. I, I'm beyond it now. Now I'm settled down, but yeah, I did all that shit. <laughs> oh, man. And there went the neighborhood. <laughs> well, not so much the neighborhood. I, I, wasn't, uh, I wasn't a social kid with my age peers. And most of the kids that went to school with me were afraid of me anyway, because I had a, a bad social reputation for, you know, being arrested. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. Was you a bad boy? I was a habitual runaway. Ah. And I would leave L.A. and they would find me in Washington, San Francisco, somewhere up in Oregon. I'd so, in other words, sports, you've always yeah. been a wandering spirit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just willing to just drop the bike where I'm standing and just go hitchhike somewhere. Just not come back if I didn't have to. Yeah. 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 Well, most people don't don't hold those values. They're 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 deep. They're rooted like I'm rooted now. I wasn't rooted before. Ah, uh, see, and and to me. Wow, if I had a kid mm. that did that. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you if you treated your kids the way I was treated, they would. That's the whole point. It was the result of a behavior. Ah. Yeah. Nobody ever asked me. I never snitched him off, but nobody ever asked me, hey, you know, why do you keep doing this? Why do you keep running away months at a time? And and I'll tell you, nobody ever asked what where I went or nothing. They just get me and put me in a jail, then send me back to the house. <laughs> that was that. Wow. So, yeah, you got to do jail time a lot, huh? Jail time. Yeah, when I was like 12 years old. And they had, well, what do they call it? Um, uh, there was detentions for uh, child, child detention centers. Ah. But they, they weren't, you know, they weren't, like, you couldn't walk in and out. They had yeah, bars and gates and guards. Basically and like that. holding pens. Mm, We've got well, a runner. <laughs> now nah, there were cells and little gangs and all that shit there too. Yeah. But wow, that was a long time ago when I was way when I was really young. Yeah. Wow, and I'm trying to think of let's see. Only a couple of times but, that I ran away, and that was in kindergarten. Exactly, but that, <laughs> that was the point. It was such a rarity where I lived. None, none of the other kids in the neighborhood did it. It was always me, and my brother never did it, but I did, <laughs> and it lasted for about two years. I wanted a way from that. Mm. So anyway, what ends up happening is the the thing I didn't want happening stopped, so I stopped too, and we came to terms. There you go. Because if I was going to get beat up, I wasn't going to hang around. Yeah. So, well, that's, yeah, and I just, uh, I don't have a, an average normal 
past. <laughs> Some people just have quiet, you know, easy lives. They grew up. But oh, man, <laughs> mine was a roller coaster. <laughs> Hmm. I just, mm, I can't, I can't fathom. Wow. I would be so freaked by my, you know, my kids not being around that it would be like, (gasps) you know, if if one of my kids were to have done such wandering. Yeah, but it's a, you're a different person. (laughs) See, it's, you're comparing an apple to an orange. That's true. You're, you're both fruits, but, you know, it, one of you's not red. Ah. Ah. I see how this works now. Well, well, yeah, because p- different people use different methods of technique that they learned. And yeah. that's what he learned when he was growing up. That's what they did to him. He thought that's what you do. Yeah. And because he did it, I learned, oh, no, that's not what you do. If, if you want people to do what you want, the last thing you do is bully them. <clears throat> yeah, you know, that is one of those. It's like um, I was talking with with my youngest, or not my youngest, my eldest. And I, I yeah. said, you know, I realize that I taught you an awful lot by example. And some of those examples were the negative examples of you don't want to do this <laughs> <laughs> well think think about all right the police okay if the police didn't behave aggressively would the people that they harass be aggressive to them first you know i and, doubt it i doubt it i think aggression breeds aggression okay well mm, i'm not getting that deep into it i'm just saying that if their approach wasn't aggressive, their results wouldn't be what they are. Yeah. Okay. Here in Denmark, I I was asking Cirque about that because the cops are pretty friendly as far as city cops. Mm-hmm. You know, if you they don't they they're not uh, rude and intrusive. They're kind of nice to you. Well, not that I didn't even get stopped by them, but when I passed them, they were cordial. Hello. You know, have a nice day. Not. Not this. Let me see your papers shit. Yeah. So yeah. if the police weren't in fact what they truly are is hired thugs for the fucking state to earn money off you as a victim, they're not there for anything else. And now they've stepped up the game and now they're murdering people. Yeah. Well, what, what the fuck? Where is the the resistance to that? Or... Is this as more stories we're being fed through this fucking uh, MSM that's not true to keep us angry and pissed off at us another faction? Either way, it doesn't, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter which side you go on. You just got to pick a side. Yeah. I'm, I'm running out of things to stay out of. <laughs> <laughs> you might find this hard to believe, little Missy, but I don't like the the idea of the police murdering people yeah yeah i i I don't like the idea of anybody murdering anyone i i think that's like the cowardliest last resort fucking way to 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 do commerce but you know uh if that's the way you want to do it there's plenty of players out there that want it See, and I think it all stems back to this whole belief system that there is scarcity and that you have to earn your keep and that you have to, you know, all of these other fun things, you have to do these things because we said so. Yeah, then explain Dubai. I mean, come on, how ignorant are people? Africa is has been robbed, raped, looted, pillaged, burnt shit on and fucked over but Dubai is right there (laughs) will somebody tell me how that worked yeah you got paradise and fucking hell in the same fucking place but you can't get water (laughs) yeah wait a minute (laughs) see it's we're all being conned and lied to if the truth were what we were listening to the results wouldn't be what they are yeah, there you go. 
It's just like when when uh, when a five year old does, you know, you know when they did, and when they didn't. They don't have that that ability to be uh, deceitful in in them. They learn it. Yes. Yes, they do. They do learn how to be deceitful. Yes. Yeah, that's not a, a born trait that you're everybody's equally got. It's something you aspire to or you avoid it. Yeah. Well, I don't think people are taught these things the way I see them. I'm a very simple fellow there, Miss Mary. I don't have too deep a thought. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I got off Farmer Brown and planted some cucumbers for my wife the other day. Oh, see how you are. Yeah, because you know what? Cucumbers don't taste like anything. So I don't really care if they're, you know, it's not like I'd ask for them. I'll eat them, but w w why would anybody want them? <laughs> oh, and I so, love cucumbers. <laughs> yeah, and so does Sark. So she come home with a couple of, I've been playing with plants and making a bunch of shit grow really good. Anyway, but uh, she brought me back two of those and I planted them and they're still alive today. And they were Yay! tall. Yeah. So I'm. I'm not the plant killer yet. I'm still, do, I'm still doing good. <laughs> yes, you are. You're a good well, little plant grower there. Well, uh, I don't know. Anything that I try to do, I I do good, or I stop doing it. See, now that sounds like something my brother Danny would say. Well, why waste a lot of time doing something? That you're not good at. If you, you know, if I'm instantly not good at something like this computer thing, mm -hmm. never, I never sat down and was good with it. Never. So after all these years, I've learned if if I'm that bad at it in the beginning, avoid it, <laughs> use it, but don't try to fix it. And all oh, nah, that's beyond me. Don't even, don't care, don't want to know. Well, yeah, there are some things that I am like that with. Okay, right. And what people have been completely bamboozled by is this, oh, people will sit around and collect welfare if there was no money. And that's not the truth. If there was no money, we would all be busy and have things, plenty of things to do and be willing to do them. And the quality of life would be about, I don't know, five or 600% better because we'd use hemp. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking for the folk that know what the fucking truth is and how we're being held back by this fucking government bullshit for the, you know, for what? For money. And they lie every breath they take, every word they use is bullshit. And nothing good comes from any of it. None of it. It's all horse shit. And here we are still doing it. And I'm so disappointed. Yeah, it is rather disappointing when you, yeah. So here I am and I figured, well... I, where I'm at, I don't have some. I don't have anything to complain about. But if I was home, I would, because I've got the internet to show me how homes changed. Yeah. Well, sometimes home. Yeah. Well, it's just a part of my life. It's me. It's not your home. It's mine. It was where I came from. Something about it that's familiar. Blah blah blah. I didn't grow up like you did, so I have a different. Um, a different way to exp express that that's kind of unique because there's not a lot of people that grew up like I did and that's not necessarily a bad thing <laughs> well I wouldn't recommend it to the weak mind but you, a funny thing happened when I was 14 I was getting a ride home from a friend an 18 year old friend <clears throat> but I had um, oh she had smoke I had I had the ability to roll. So I was going to roll. She's going to give me a ride home. We're going to smoke one. Da, da, da. Well, the cops knocked on the window <laughs> Oops. while we were burning it, blah, blah, blah. And here here they, they take me at 14 and her at 18, and they call, and they call my parents and tell them they, they want to charge me and let her go. <laughs> and I'm the minor. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> It was my my parents kind of went. No, I don't think so, Charlie. You're you're playing the wrong card there. Well, yeah. But 
even back in the day, back in the 70s, that the cops were trying to be f- more, f- you know, beginning to be fuck uppity like that, doing snaky shit, not being f- right up front. This is what we're here for. This is what we're going to do. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. You know, n- now it's since I was a kid, it's been all this. Uh, look over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, wow. Well, what a world, you know, and over something like weed of all of all the things there are weed. Yeah, I was reading some of the different timeline stuff with weed and hemp and over the last few days. And it's like, holy crap. Yeah. The, the best part is yet to come about this story. Now, not only was I 14 and arrested for pot. That was the only time in my whole life I've ever been arrested for pot. Oh, cool. And I've been smoking since before that. But wow. the only and yeah, and I was in the company of an adult. <laughs> it's it's the fucking weirdest thing. I <laughs> my mom used to once she got over being mad at me for it happening, then it was a a funny story to tell. Well, yeah. yeah. You know, because for, I'm one of the, I was, as a child, I was one of those, he's always into something. <laughs> yeah. It, I don't know how. Just shit always happened wherever I was at. Whether it was me, I said it was the girl in the car, but I was just there. But they say, well, it was you. <laughs> Wait a minute. I wasn't driving anybody anywhere. Oh, but you were an instigator by gosh and by golly. Well, right. And it's all a matter of interpretation and how your indoctrination took hold of you and made you think. Yeah. Just like my lack of an indoctrination gave me an outlook that's pretty rare. Not a lot of people have my outlook on life. Well, but see, your indoctrination... You you see it as a lack of indoctrination, but it's still a form of indoctrination. Yeah, yeah. Well, I always say my indoctrination will kick the shit out of your indoctrination any day. <laughs> mm. Well, sure, I could play the statist. I just don't believe in any of that and don't see no reason to lie about it. You know, it's like the misunderstanding about this hijacking of the anarchy thing. Anarchies, there's no group, there's no meetings, there's no fucking, hey, how you doing, fellow anarchist? There's a, leave me the fuck alone and stay out of my business. I'm an anarchist. There you are. Mm-hmm. Now, we know that ain't going to happen, but that's anarchy. I can take care of myself. I don't need you. You need me. Yeah. Yeah, well, especially if you're talking the colloquial or the, yeah, yeah. Well, society is a collection of people. Yes. So if you don't play in it, then it needs you. You don't need it. Oh, yes. Society needs you in order for it to continue existing. Right, but look at the size it's gotten to and the control measures it has and uses on it, on its, the people I mean, you know why it you know why it keeps enacting more control measures because more people keep stepping away and what they don't realize is that mm. the more you enact stricter and stricter control mechanisms the more people will back away so what they're doing is they're feeding their own demise <sighs> Yeah, but it's a slow kill. You know what? Yeah. What's going to really get what would really get attention is if ten thousand people did the same thing at the same time. Yeah. But they're all conditioned to believe you have to have a license and you have to be this and protected by that and in yeah. rule number sixty-five A. Yeah. What the fuck? I'm here to tell you, you uh, shouldn't do that. But I got to follow rules. Get the fuck out of here. Grimmy says that you don't know the secret anarchist handshake. Apparently, you're not a very good anarchist. Well, hey, then keep it to yourself, Bosco. (laughs) Don't tell me what it is. I don't want to know. Tell Hansel. Hansel's probably dying to find out anyway. (laughs) (laughs) 
the that last way... thing. Okay, but serious. The the last thing I want to be in is in a group. Oh, but see if you if you know the secret anarchist handshake. But if if Hansel <laughs> learns what it is, she, yeah, he'll, he'll be uh, able to infiltrate the anarchist meeting when yeah, they have cool, one. Huh? Then we, we <laughs> could have a phony fucking meeting just for Hans. <laughs> be the only one there that doesn't know he's being stroked. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah see society has taught me all these horrible things i know they're horrible i mean it's, but they're funny <laughs> yeah i don't take them serious i don't personally dislike hansel i dislike hansel's person on the internet in yeah. person we we would never we there'd be no reason for us to ever in, interact so th this is just a fluke and it's fun yeah. 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 That, that's psh, please. But <laughs> let me tell you, I sometimes secretly think that Hansel's out of his fucking mind. <laughs> ah. Well, maybe he just stepped out for a little while and, and then forgot where he put it. Uh, uh, <laughs> I like I Vinny know. just added a quote. Fuck you. I'm uh, an anarchist. Uh, Flashes. That's, that's <laughs> right. And see, that's what I mean. <laughs> It's it's not something somebody else calls you. It's something you call you. It's got nothing to do with me. Yeah. So there's no fucking group to be in. We're just equals. We see that particular thing and that's it. And you know what's Take really funny is anarchists know that being equal with another individual doesn't mean that you're all equally capable of doing everything that the other one is capable of doing. It just means that... No. You... Oh, I'm always saying Grimmy's got me beat on the trivia. I don't... I'm not a good trivia player. But it's not because of lack of answers. It's because lack of ability to get it to the computer in a faster than fucking... Grimner fingers over there. <laughs> I know, cries between him and Moose Girl and Kate. Yeah, it's like uh, I, I just finished yeah. reading the question, and those two are boom, uh, boom, 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 and I'm going shit. I didn't even get my fingers on the keyboard yet. <laughs> <laughs> but but still, I mean, hey, come on. <laughs> I'm like Every a brontosaurus <laughs> compared to those three. <laughs> it's like yeah, but uh, see, you, people got their little <laughs> things that they do. Yeah. yeah, I got my little thing. I do. Well, I did. I, I've given up on the art, and now I'm going into the um, the plants. Oh, there I, you I really, go. Yeah, I'm having a lot of uh, what do you call that? Satisfaction from starting a little plant and growing it. And some of this shit, it grows so so big and so well, it surprises the people that gave me the original plant. Oh, oh, and you know what? This morning I was yeah. out uh, watering. Some of my stuff for the garden, I haven't Aren't put it out yet, which, which I'm really glad I hadn't put it out because, yeah, it would have all been flooded out and dead. But, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. But uh, I was out watering it this morning, and I have three ginger plants now. Ooh. Booyah! I mean, I had a couple of, of you know, where I think I overwatered or whatever, and so it just kind of went and didn't do anything. Yeah. But Ginger's I have the one that that looks like Homer Simpson, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a smooth, like a off, like a beige. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I I Cause... got three three different pots where it's it's got good. One of the sprouts is like almost six inches tall now. So, yeah, it's like booyah. Well, Cirque, Cirque mixes me up a. A ginger tea now and again too. Mm. Made out of old uh, organic uh, ginger. Well, mine's gonna be organic because I'm not putting any kind of fancy schmancy stuff on it. It's just dirt and water. Every well, once in a while, it may get watered with my eggshell water, which reeks to high heaven. But oh, the plants love it. Well, one of the byproducts of the Danes is they label their their food. Yeah, we label it so over you know here too, and so you yeah. you pay twice as much for organic as opposed to. Right. No, the, it's not like that here. And uh, if if a product has a price in in uh, 
the same product will be the same price at at a different store. It won't be like you'll get a savings and they don't do that. Mm. Oh, so it's okay. Price controlled. They that yeah they do two two fours but yeah you get a, a discount if you get two instead of one. Ah. But they don't yeah and if you go to buy a cigarettes in one store it's the same price at the other store. Hmm. So yeah, I thought it was kind of weird because I'm used to you know the competitiveness of America. Well, here's here's a thing for price control. Just not have a price. That controls it. Yeah. Well, pri- yeah, the whole concept's just flawed. It doesn't really work. It only helps a handful, and it, it uses everybody else to help the handful. And it, for whatever reason, that's an accepted form of living. I don't get it. I mean, if, if all you're going to end up doing is survive, you know? Yeah. Then I don't understand what the point of playing that game is. Because there's big money to make in it. If you don't have a conscience and you're, you know, you're willing to I, lie to everybody you fucking know, I suppose is one way to put it, then you can be very successful. Yeah. But if you know the truth about all this shit, to go into it, you're just a crook. Yeah. I don't I don't think that anybody that's a successful businessman today is any less a thief than a guy that holds a gun against a guy in a liquor store. Same fucking thing. They've just u- figured out ways to use the electronics to manipulate things and the wavelengths to send messages to their followers and get people to do things that are unnatural, <laughs> like trade money that's not real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, they spend tons of time doing it every day. And I even read about money. I'm not I'm not immune to it. I'm just not concerned about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, it's just a tool. If, mm. Yeah, it is. It's it yeah. is a tool. And the more of it you have, the more government you got shoved up your ass trying to figure out what you had for breakfast. So, nah, you guys can help. Oh, you know, I'll have mine. Whatever I got, you can have it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Um, well, I don't want to be a, a bitter man and on the end of my life. I want to be glad I'm still around. You know? Not sweating it to hold on to some illusion. You know? Yeah. Yeah, because it's all make-believe in the first fucking place. Yes, it is. Yeah. Without enforcement, <laughs> there you go. So your problem is your enforcement. Yeah. What are you going to do? Well, you know, anytime you have force. I know. Huh? In there. I know. And that's, ah, I wonder if that was a subliminal thing. May the force <laughs> be with you. <laughs> uh, force. <laughs> I would much Ooh. rather may the farce or the dork. I don't trust Hollywood, I'll tell you that. But from, I was, the other day I was watching old movies from the 30s and the 40s mm-hmm. about drugs, mm-hmm. about drugs, right? Yeah. And the dialogue of the film doesn't fit the time in history because they're talking like on every street corner's crime and everybody's doing drugs and it was, no, <laughs> are you joking me? You know, it wasn't like that. Yeah, yeah. But the movies portrayed it. And they were giving problems to society that pro- they hadn't happened yet. Well, and that's because they want, you know, they want to get that seed planted. And that's yeah, where behavior- a lot of people need to go through that garden in their mind and start pulling some of those <laughs> things that were planted earlier. I think the behavior is a byproduct of it. It's got, doesn't matter what the behavior is. They got cops to deal with that. Yeah. The cops aren't to protect you. <laughs> the cops are to protect the politicians from us. Yeah. Yeah. They are there to protect the system from those that the system. Right. 
because it would take an act, it, it would take an act of ten or twenty thousand people to gather at one time and physically go somewhere and say we want this done to get anything done but the system has made it so that you can't do that now it's illegal to do things that will change things what are you fucking kidding me get up yeah well you know that's not control what is it when they make the rules you know they also make those rules in order to um continue their job security that's basically the only reason they have those rules is so that they continue having job security i want job security i want job security no, too don't. but you know my job is is to just keep yeah, just living and alive. doing my yeah. thing and not hurting anybody else and right, I'm not talking it's... about this whole, my feeling, you stepped on one of my feelings. Well, pick the damn thing up so I don't walk on it the next time, dumbass. I watch where mm. I'm walking, but if you got your feelings laid out all over the place, then eventually I'm going to step on one. Well, are your feelings stepped on when uh, an American-led NATO coalition bombs Syria? It it really, really infuriates me that... that the... I have to be associated with that hmm. just by the I'm, way society works these days and the way the world is. It's like, yeah, I yeah. don't want them doing this. Those right. people do not represent me. Yeah. Representing someone anyway is an insane thought, you know, because they show up and they present themselves. That's what representing is presenting again, basically. So, Mm. They are supposed to go and present again for me. Why? I You present for yourself. I will present for myself. You stay the hell out of this whole bullshit of re-presenting for me. Because I don't want you re-presenting for me. I can present for myself just fine. Yeah, I, I know that part. What I don't know is what are you going to do? I can't find an answer to that particular question. I've been trying for, what, 50 years now. Well, well not quite 50. And so see, about 12. The thing is, is me, myself, and I, I really cannot, um, I can't do anything to change that person clean over there that I have never no, even met or insane. any of that fun stuff. Right. All I can do, the only thing I really have any kind of control over is how I act and interact with other people. And so that's basically what I have to do is I have to make sure that when I act and interact with others, I'm not doing so in an aggressive manner that is going to cause actual physical harm to another individual. Yeah, but the people in the city. Yeah, that living, that ant farm. A, yeah, it's right, a great, great big a ant farm. Life. And, you know, the reason why I look at it like an ant farm is because those that wish to control look at us as little bitty ants. Like, oh, they man. are way above us, and they've uh, got a freaking magnifying glass. And it's like, who do we want to pick off today? Zap! Yeah. yeah. Wow. See, the live and let live world exists. It's just really in small little pockets. Yeah. Yeah. If you want one, if you want one, you have one. And if you want to live in chaos and shit, then you got that. Mm -hmm. And I think the political shit keeps you focused on crap that. That you have no real control over anyway. So why not just well, control what's going on around you? It It's only done through lies and deception. If people were in, informed of the truth of what their actions are producing, things would shift mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> there's always a fringe of people that will always be a 10% of a group, right? Yeah. So with, with your police force, my, my belief is 5 to 10% of the total of the police that are working are pricks. Yeah, and yet... And the rest of them, and, right, but the other ones that aren't, they're not being recognized for their shit. 
But the guys that are fucking pricks out there doing all the hard ass crap are. Yeah. Or it wouldn't continue. How would it continue if they're all pricks, all of them, all the time? No. Can't work that way. Yeah. Well, and see, to me, and, and I know there's, it is a small percentage. Um, yeah, and the of, uniform ones that with the badges, those are the pricks in the police thing. Because there's a lot of cops. I mean, there's cops behind cops behind cops. Yes. So their front line is the pricks among them. The worst of the fucking worst with the, you know, mm. that have to work their way up out of scum fuckery. Because that's how fucked up they are. Well, see, and that's the ones that everybody takes that paintbrush of the ones, you know, that that the ones that are the total pricks, the total assholes, yeah. the total, yeah. you know, shoot 'em ups uh, because yeah. I feared for my life shit. They they are the like the bucket of paint, and people take that bucket of well we'll call it paint but it smells really bad and they brush it on every other one of them there and there are some that really are good honest people that are trying to help they're right, really i know matter. some of them but they get yeah. painted with the same mm -hmm. brush and that's negative, something yeah. that what what they need to realize is that when you have this example out there and you're going, well, not all of us are like that. Okay, yeah. if not all of you are like that, then please prove to mm. everyone that you're not like that by calling out and holding them accountable for their actions. You know, instead of going, well, you know, you got the blue line and the do do and the brotherhood and the this and the that and it got to have this collectivism shit. No, make them stand and deal with what they put out, you know, and call them out on that shit instead of hiding behind the blue line or whatever the hell or hiding uh, behind that and badge. I'm saying that the game is designed that way. Yes, maybe. and they hire so, people that will live behind that blue line because that's what they want is a bunch of blue line hiders. Right, and it's misrepresented to the public as one thing, but it's truly something different. Yeah. And the evidence is clear. Most of the RLM people understand that, Hansel. Um, but where's where is uh, the public in all this? Well, see, and that's that's where the that's where all this propaganda and shit works so well because, you know, what they do is they take a few of those token good guys, and they put them out there and they go, oh come on now, you've got this guy that's doing this and this guy that's doing that and this guy that's doing this and they're all wonderful people, don't, don't make them all look like these douchebags over here that are you know I have gun and a badge I can shoot whatever. You know, and and the public eats up that propaganda because they yeah. they want yeah. to believe, even though they know better, they want to believe that those people with the guns and the badges are there to protect them. No, they're not. No, they're not. Even if they think they are, those ones wearing the guns and the badges, and they think that their life is so much more valuable than anyone else's life because, well, I felt threatened, and therefore, no, uh, no, you no, You dissect no. it to that, that level. Oh, okay. you'd be surprised how, how much dissection goes on when, when I just, and it's just a random, of course, especially when I'm out mowing or something, my brain is in overdrive because mowing a monkey could do that yeah but i cut out the middleman i just go oh uniform cop ink next well it, it is kind of sort of one of those things where what type of personality would wish to have that job in the first place it, kind of, exactly who wants to be a bully in an asylum a yeah. fucking psycho that's yeah. who i mean these people have put their self out in the public and they're victims of their own fucking job. Oh, I could get killed any time. Well, then don't go to work. <laughs> Why did you apply for that job in the first place then? <laughs> I don't know. For the girls? 
<laughs> yeah, it's like... Uh, so they could score heavy with the girls in the bars late at night. Uh, that's that's what it is. Okay. You know, in, in that swanky parking lot. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay. Well, you just go right on ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to hang out over here. Police cars heaters. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Uh... Wow. Grimner's going insane writing weird stuff. I'm not going to talk about it. You can talk about it if you want to. It's yeah, a wiener joke. I saw that. Yeah. Next wow. next hot menswear trend. Hot is uh, the appropriate word there because, yeah, it's now it's got some, another some. piece of fabric over the uh, junk. So, yeah, let's really con – and it's a different color. So let's concentrate the the visual and and all the other – yeah. You know, it's kind of like uh, Billy Connolly says that when you're really, really hot – or yeah. like when you're in an enclosed area, all of the heat goes to the crotch. Hey. Well, that's that's pretty much what it is. So yeah, it is hot menswear because yeah, now ah. they have an extra. Instead of having a butt flap, you got a you got a wee wee flap. Only they call it a penis pocket, but it's not really a oh, pocket. Oh well, there you go. I Boy, I clicked on the link because it's good. like wow, really seriously, but. Yeah, it's just a little flap with a button. <laughs> we just did a Mel Mel Brooks bit from Anxiety. Ah, really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mel Brooks is supposed to be a psychologist giving a speech, uh -huh. and uh, he's talking about sex, and uh, as he's getting to the verbal parts, this doctor has sits down with his two young daughters, and all of a sudden... Uh, penis becomes pee pee. <laughs> and so I had a flashback to the movie because you know I I wasn't raised with all that um, all the verbal. You know I was my my father was kind of hard to explain, but he didn't swear. You know the good the good juicy words. He didn't use those around the kids. Mm-hmm. And my mom was just a nice woman, so... Mm. Oh, Grim says it's a dick flap. <laughs> ah, there you go. So, so now, now that I'm grown and all that, and I have to think about it, I'm still... Uh, I'm loose with the words because they don't have any deep-rooted um, haunting. You know, I was never told, don't say that. We just did what we saw. Yeah. We followed, you know, we followed the, the boss. And if he said that, it was okay to say that. We just knew these were the fucking guidelines. <laughs> it, uh -huh. was, it wasn't real hard to understand it. Yeah. 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 There was no freedom in that one. <laughs> no. Freedom was not your friend. You were going to learn the lesson. And that sentence used to just send me off on a fucking tizzy <laughs> yeah still does i don't know what the fuck it is about um being uh, bullied by another person but it just irritates the shit out of me yeah strange huh? yeah oh and, i understand i um... yeah but it's just irritated it's not like i sit here and sulk for hours or anything it just it just wow what the fuck <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, but I think you're one of those. those people that if you see someone being bullied, you're not going to just stand there and go, oh, hey, he's getting bullied. You would be going, dude, seriously, what the fuck? Uh, no, I at this age, I stay out of it, especially when I don't know the language. No, I'm I'm avoiding any of that. And these people are so nonviolent anyway. I don't I don't see it happening. OK, but if you were in a situation where you saw that where? happening. Well, I know not in right, Denmark. You're not I probably know. not going to see that. Well, but. Copenhagen maybe, but I don't want to go to Copenhagen because it's a big city. It's a f I'm fucking finished with all the big cities. Had enough. They're pretty and all that. There's a lot to see and good stuff to do. I'm not stupid. I'm just old. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it all. You know, whatever I wanted to do, I did. So I got no... I got none of that. Oh, I wish I would have went here when I was no, because I I'm the guy that hey, where'd he go? <laughs> he went to Florida. <laughs> See, and 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 I haven't done a whole heck of a lot of traveling, but then again, it's one of those things where it's like, 
do I really want to go there? Do I want to go there bad enough to have to pack and go through all the arrangement shit to go there? That's that's the process that I have. So, you know, and I've always kind of been that way. I mean, yeah, I like to check out pictures of, of other places and stuff. But actually, you know, traveling, mm. I got to really want to go somewhere to go somewhere. Even with family. Well, <laughs> when I, but when I started on my travels, Mary, everybody that I encountered behaved as I do now. Yeah. So I've seen the milkshake get made over for what forty-five years. Yeah. Give or take. Yeah. You know, because some serious shit happened to me at twelve, thirteen, fourteen that other people didn't deal with till they were grown ups. And some of us have not had to deal with at all. That's one way to put it, yeah. But as far as a good life, it's always been good. Well, you know, and mine has too. Mine's just been different. And, you know, like you had that, the wanderlust, which part of it was to get away from, and part of it was because you were finding cool things to do. I don't know why. i just always been that way. I never questioned why. I just do it. Well, see, and I just, and it really wasn't until I'd watched Buckaroo Bonsai that it really kind of clicked with me, you know, and, but, and the wonderful quote from Buckaroo Bonsai, no matter where you go, there you are. And so I've okay. always just found yeah. something to do where I was at that entertained yeah. me. So. Well, yeah, I've been entertained. Cirque's still entertaining. It's just yeah. that I, I took the contract, you know, I don't contract with people. If I do, I mean it. Yeah. That's why. That's why I don't do it. So I finally did it, and now there you go. Ooh, somebody went zippity doo don by you. Oh yeah, the you know the, April first, the first Harley came out. Ah. So these people have been, and it's June second. So that yeah, they've been on the bikes for about five weeks. Yeah. 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 They're yeah. They're, Harleys haven't been out too much. A couple earlier be before the show, but eh, it's been quiet. Yeah. It's a little warm too. Well, all this crap about global warming is—it's crap. But the stuff about Harp, where they've been fucking with the atmosphere and getting these weird results, that part's true. Yeah. Well, they confuse everybody by telling them five different stories about nothing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's crap, complete nonsense. But if you have a science education, you can make sense of this. Well, of course you can, because that's what they want you to fucking do. Mm -hmm. Parrot, parrot their fucking crap, which isn't true. But I've got a certificate to be a complete lunatic. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, wow. you know what? Moosey said God is bowling up in her neck of the woods. Booyah! Is that, so, uh, is that good? Moosey. Oh, thunder! Yeah, okay, yeah. It. So, do no. is he getting lots of strikes? You know, like the flashy shit going on. Mm -hmm. Must be a hell of a bowling game. Well, you know, when we were little kids, we used to say that that was Jesus playing with a light switch when the <laughs> when the lightning would flash. Jesus is uh -huh. playing with the light switch, Mama. <laughs> uh -huh. We were really know. weird kids. Really weird. No, all kids are really weird. True. And True. they're fun. If you just leave them with the fuck alone, let them do what they want to do. You know? Yeah. It's not hard to trick them into being um, capable of following the direction. You don't got to yell and scream. That's for bullies. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I, I do recall yelling and screaming a time or two with mine. I would but, never I would never get a cup of coffee at a Cirque if I wasn't nice about how I asked for it. That's true. That's true. Because so, that's a lot of bullshit. You, you know, she's got a broken hand still. So I, I've still backed off on the coffee for a while. But when I do, you know, she's got preparations and shit. It's not like, it's not like a how I'd make it. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, yeah. yeah. But... Eh, how you make it, gift. yeah. 
how you make it is not necessarily as wondrous as circles, huh? No, but th that's the point. You know, if I want something, I'm not going to be cruel to the person I'm trying to have give it to me. Yeah. But that's what society seems to have to turned into since I was 12 years old. This monster that demands of you. And if you don't comply, we'll punish you. And I grew up under that shit, so fuck, I'm not playing that game. <laughs> Have fun. Yeah. There you go. It's that easy to explain. If you understand it, you understand it. And if you don't, you don't. But there you have it. There you go. Dang, we're out of time. I know, huh? And I was being so wise like an old Korean man. Yes. Uh, I was being very wise. Hey. Well, y'all been listening to The Dork Table here on reallibertymedia.com, channel three, and all kinds of other rlm num 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 places. Thanks a lot, everybody. Yes, it has been fun. It has been wonderful. And after the summer, uh, it, if it wakes for both of us, we will pick it up again. But for now, my summer is going to be very, very busy between well, family and... Well, I'll see you after the summer. Uh, uh, I can't do The Dork Table with anybody else. Uh, it don't work. We just work your schedule. Fuck it. Yeah, well, it'll probably it's be. It's not that big deal. It's just my my Saturday afternoon kick. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Because I I live in Denmark, so my entertainment is America. Ah. My Saturday afternoon. Cool. Cool. Thanks everybody for playing around. Yes, and y'all have an absolutely amazing weekend. And Moosey, please, no no playing with the light switch, okay, hon? A little <laughs> bit of bowling is cool, so long as the light switch ain't getting buggered wow. with. <laughs> oh well. Be sure to check back later because okay, well tomorrow I guess at noon, um, Eastern Time. Grimmy will be on playing the blues. Directly following him will be Hal Anthony, who's going to open up a can of whoop ass on yo ass behind the woodshed. And tomorrow evening, Gary Ellen Gigi's boo with the road less traveled. I will be back Wednesday for my Wackadoodle Wednesday edition of the Rocket Chair. And thank you all for playing along with us, dorks. And uh, we will.